Welcome, Vincent Koo. Welcome, welcome to the Jeff and Michelle <laughs> Show. Thank you so much for coming on as our guest today. Um, well, let me let me just jump right into it. So, Vincent, 21 years strong in real estate, top produce three top producing exit offices, managing, coaching, leadership to always better serve your better serve your clients and your agents. I mean, I remember back at the at, back at our old company. Year after year after year, it was like top producing, most gross sales, most listings, broker of the a year award. We wanted to, we be, wanted you. to be you. We right. wanted to be you. We idolized you, right? We, we looked how at you. Everybody in the company looked, how does he do it? What is he doing, right? And we all wondered, right? Now, fast forward, it's been, what, almost how long now at the new? About the a year new, and a half. About a year and a half at the new company. And let's let's get right into it, man. What what made you make that move? It was a big decision, right? And and a big change, and it, it shook up my whole world, you know. And I I'll tell you, I I, I was stressed out a lot, um, kind of leading up to it for about uh, a year, maybe even a year and a half, leading up to the transition. And it wasn't even a planned transition. That's that's the. It was just the, like. What? It was just like that. Okay. That um, but there was an uneasiness that was building inside of me, you know, a, a dissatisfaction that was building inside of me because, you know, listen, all those awards that you mentioned, yeah. um, I want you to know, none of it was me, <laughs> none of it. Okay, it was all the team. It was all the agents that that worked with us. It was their efforts. It was their energy. Um, that led to all that. And I think it was the realization that without them, what do you really have? So you really have to have a model that served them, okay? If you didn't have a model that served them, then That's everything funny. that you have is just temporary, yeah. right? It could be the achievement of the moment. And I remember receiving those damn awards. <laughs> you know? It should be it should be a good feeling. Yeah. Right? But it it never should did. be a good feeling, but it never was. It was like, oh damn, gotta right. do this. Gotta again. Put it on the shelf. Go put it on the shelf. <laughs> put it on the shelf and let's let's figure out how we're gonna do this again next year. Yeah. Right? And how we're gonna do it again with the same team. Yeah. How we're gonna hold on to these guys if you know the, the model didn't work. And you and you and you and I, we, we were in different offices. Yeah. Right. Well, so, you know, you would call me every once in a while, you, you know, we talk, but the truth is we were working for, we were working under the same umbrella, but for different teams. It, 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 it's funny because I remember it was always like, they always hinted at like, Oh, you can reach out to Vincent. You can reach out to so-and-so. Right. And you would reach out, but you always felt as if you were like bothering them, you know, like mm -hmm. from, from me, like, at that, uh, that period, it was like, man, I, I'm a close guy. What incentive does it have for him to take my call? Like, other than the fact that I'm under that same umbrella, you know, and there was no real incentive for that. So it was always even harder to get over to, to make that call, to reach out to the top, to the leader, to find out, man, man what, 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 what little crumb can you give me to help mm -hmm. me, you know? And then it like even traveling wise, like everyone's so busy, but for yeah. us to go out to Queens, Manhattan, it's an hour or two hours and you know, everyone's schedule, it's challenging at least. Yeah. You know. To me, it just didn't work. Um, it really didn't work because I knew that doing what we were doing, we could not hold on to our top producers. Okay. Sure. And they were everything, right? They're the reasons why we get to walk across the stage to pick up our piece of glass, right? <laughs> so crazy right it, it's true and you know you were achieving that year after year right and yes, it, was it, working. It, it's like what holds you there what holds you there if you really take a look at things get my award 
You get, you get your award, right? You get a dinner every month because yeah. they're celebrating, which is great. It's a fantastic feeling. But how much did that award cost you? How much did those dinners cost you? Well, we did <laughs> the math. Much less. <laughs> we ended up doing the math. Right. And what, what did you figure out when you did the math? When we did the math, it didn't align with our core values. Yeah. It was, you know what it was, is that we, I looked at it as it wasn't, it wasn't just about the money, right? And it's really easy in this business because we make a lot of it, um, but we'd work really hard for it. it. It wasn't always about that, but it was about the fact that if I didn't have that, that, that extra cash flow, it was less that I could do for like me, like you with the brokerage, I had the team, right? I was like the first person to break, exit a team, right? Mm -hmm. So I was, I'm sitting there and I'm like, all right, well, how can I do more for my agents and get them to be better? And it was like, I didn't care. Like at the end of the year, yeah, the numbers added up, right? So if it, if it, it, it didn't matter so much, but then I said, well, I had to sit back for a second. I said, wait a second, there's gotta be a better way. Right. There's got to be a way, better way for collaboration. There's got to be a better way that that I can I can retain more to do more for others to help them grow their business and become and, and build wealth. And, you know, you know what was frustrating? It was realizing that you're you're reaching that top of the ladder. All right. And and realizing that it's leaning against the wrong wall. <laughs> exactly. Right? That, yeah, that, that was such a devastating realization to me. And it was like, okay, we could still, you know, we could keep pushing this way. It would be fine. We would we would survive. We would go on. We'd continue to to hit our achievements. Yeah. But is that really progress? No. And are are we really doing the best thing for our group? It's the hamster wheel. That's it. Think about it. It's it's rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat every year, over and over and over again. And and, and it, even this business, it teaches you to become systematic systems, processes, and the results, right? System, process, and result. And then tweak, tweak, tweak. And mm -hmm. it teaches you all that. But if you're at, like you said, the ladder's up against the wrong wall, and you're building and building and building, and you look at, so I found that when I looked and I said, wait a second. Like it took me a good, it, I, I used to tell everybody, I bleed teal, you'll never pull me away, right? You'll never get me away. And it was when I made the, when I decided to open up my eyes, mm -hmm. right? Okay, Every too. once in a while, like you, your eyes, you get an opportunity, whether it comes from your coach, where it comes from a friend, a mentor, any your father, whoever it comes from, right? You get a chance every once in a while to open your eyes and look at it at a bigger or from a different angle or something like that. And man, I am so glad that opportunity was put in front of me. I know you are too, but oh, yeah. the, the big question is, is when we saw that, right? Cause I know how it was for me and the nervousness of me having to go back and saying, look, I found this. Now I had just made a move, right? I had just left one location, right? And eight months later, you know, left and went to this other location. So we made a move and it was like May, like June and May, like right around Memorial Day, right before, right? And uh, in the, we went through there, we made the move. We jan by January 1st, we were at another company. So I had done my dig in research while we were going through the transition, mm -hmm. right? And I remember I reached out to you like, God, you are a godsend because I had a question would come up and I'd be like, Vin, what's this? And you, You'd show me where to go. And I was like, oh, freaking awesome. And I'd figure out the answer. The the panic, right, of having to go to the team and say, guys, look, um, I want to move again, but this is why. And mm -hmm. the shockingness from my team of me putting it out and laying it out in front of them and all looking at me, like, I remember having, like, because we called in the whole group, right? right, like my group, the core that I brought into Exit, everybody, it was like, we all came in. And I, I, I told them the big plan. They all looked at me. They were like, Jeff. This is the game changer. This is what we've been looking for. This is everything. How did that happen? When, like, what was it like when you now for me, it was only like 12 people for you? It was how many people? Well, the we had about 300, okay, and that that's very important to note that I didn't move everybody over. Um, I didn't move everybody over, and the way that things kind of worked out for us, uh. 
you know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a, a part of it. And those that really want to find out, I guess they're, they're going to have to reach out to me because I, I don't know how public I can make that. Um, <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> but, um, you know, once I realized that that wasn't where I wanted to be, okay, I didn't know anything else other than I don't want to be there anymore. I don't want to be doing that. That's not the future, right? This is, you know, it, I thought I saw it as a, the franchise model as a sinking ship, but my other options were uh, to go independent or find another franchise. <laughs> and, and to be honest with you, I didn't like either of those options. Yeah. They, they weren't appealing to me. It didn't, I don't think it solved any of the problems, right? And so when I finally researched EXP, when I finally found out about it, when somebody actually took their time to, you know, expose me to, to the real inside of EXP Realty, I was like, holy crap, this could really work. Yeah. But I didn't tell everybody about it. And I gathered us, I did gather a small group together and I, I was starting to, to talk to people about it. And before I could get, you know, maybe a, a, a quarter of the way through, they put the money. Yeah. You know, yeah. it got out. And um, I think they acted in fear. And, you know, I, I, I walked away with a couple of bruises and bumps and scratches, <laughs> you know? Um, Our business, right? <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, as, as crappy as that feeling was, um, yeah. it, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm super grateful because it actually forced me to make that move, right? So, I'm, I'm thinking how much longer would I have taken, even though I might have been able to move over a bigger group, the entire group, whatever. How much longer would it have taken me to plan that move, right? It might have taken me another year. Exactly. Now, let me ask you this, right? So, so you, so you would say that, like, it was kind of like you had came up with the idea. You, you, you shared it with a few people at small, different individual at different times, and you had an idea that was rolling around that you were, you were making this move one way or another. You just were in the planning stages of it. Somebody comes in, rips the rug out from under you, cats out the bag. You're instantly forced into just execution. No more planning. It's just now it's just execution. How did that go? What, when you made that, when that, when that happened, what was your first, when you found out that, oh man, I can't do what I thought I was going to do. What did you do? What was your first move? My first move is to go with my uh, top producers. You know, those, those were the ones that, uh, you know, really saw it. In fact, those, those, <laughs> those associates were the ones that were pushing the pace. Right. Yeah. Because I still needed to, to wrap some things up as I was telling them about it. They were, they were all, every single one of them was like, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. What are you waiting for? That's right. Okay. I think this is great. And I'm like, wait, we have to do, we have to take care of this. We have to take care of that. Yeah. I haven't even talked to the rest of the office yet. Right. Yeah. Um, and and uh, but at the end of the day, it forced us to make that move. And I can't even imagine um, what it would be like if I'd waited a year, right? Would I have done things absolutely the same? Probably not, yeah. right? And the you get to benefit from everything that I went through yeah. because when you transitioned over, we planned everything out. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we <planned everything. laughs> Sorry. You know, it's almost a year for you. It's a couple of days away from a one-year anniversary for your move yeah. to EXP Real Estate, right? But and, uh, and I think back about your year, and I'm I'm just amazed because you've grown on every single front. Your production, the the agent count, your your individual team, but not only that, your entire organization. And it's grown, right? And it in a global pandemic, also. Yeah, I mean, not to see on her. You know, like, I really believe this all stems down to, like, the mindset, right? Your mindset, right? You got to, like, you got to, like, be in the right mindset to see the opportunity, see the opportunity and go after it. But you also have to have your own ability to continue to keep yourself accountable, right? And if as long as you're the type of person that is goal-driven and goal-oriented and can grind, you can achieve what 
any, you can do whatever you want, right? Us as humans, we always put that limiting belief on ourselves and say, oh, I, I would love to have that. Well, just change those words around, right? I'm going to have that, right? And yeah. then all of a sudden your mind shifts and you start to realize things, right? And you might listen to, you know, like I remember like when I, <laughs> when I made the move, right? Something that stuck with me and it, it was like that fire, right? It was like, oh no, right? Somebody had the nerve to tell me I'd be back. Mm. And I said to them, I said, I just looked at him, I smiled and I graciously left. And that was the, the, the enough for me to hit the ground running and never look back, you know? Mm -hmm. So it was like amazing. And to be honest with you, it was scary as could be when I was moved, when we were moved, I'm blessed. Michelle is like <laughs> my rock when it comes to these situations. Cause I might look like I'm the one that runs everything, but let me tell you the living, breathing organism that is in the office every day and is pumping blood and everything through our veins is Michelle. All right. So like, here I am, I got this great idea. We're going to make this move. I can handle the logistical stuff of like the, the leaving the brokerage, the making sure everything is accounted for, making sure everything's where it needs to be. But then like the execution part of like getting onboarding, onboarding getting agent, doing everything right. It was easy with the way EXP, EXP made it so simple for me because the, everything was a click of a mouse. It was like, all right, right. You, got, you need to know how to do this. Click this link. Boom. Do this. Boom. And it was like, oh. But, but we did bring a substantial number of people over. But, I mean, for us, it was. It was we, did that on, so. we did that in a, in a, in a, in a, literally on a holiday weekend, right? So it was like New, New Year's. Year's Day. <laughs> we said, see you later. Right? New Year's, the next day, the 2nd of January, we're associated with the brokerage. We're, on, we're <laughs> onboarding everybody. We're getting all of our business cards, everything ordered, right? And in the end of it all, it all gets done like a, like a, a match. And then I'm like, oh, man. And then it was like, all right, now we got to get into business, right? Now we got to yeah. start up, get it going, right? But what was so amazing to me was that we had the ability to literally at a moment's notice, pick up the phone and everybody was like, what do you mean? What can I do for you? Yes, go here, go there, do this, this is that. Everybody was so willing, like between all the groups that has, has formed and then just our group, like our big group, the Alliance, the the, the Honey Badger group um, within EXP is like so supportive. Like oh. anything you need, they're there. Like Victoria Figueroa, one of the top agents. Veronica, agent. yeah. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Veronica Figueroa, one of the top, Top team leads in Florida, like beyond, like makes in the US. Yes, yeah, like, like, like gets on and at eight a.m. on a Saturday morning with my team on a Zoom call, and just helps us, inspires us for a business planning session. It was amazing. Like the collaboration is like what we did in here. You hear about people saying, "Oh, they collaborate. They open their books," but oh, like they open you don't books, right? know until you <laughs> actually like. Until you experience it, right? I, I wish we could give that experience out uh, because I, you know, I had one of my one of my top agents came to me one day and was like, you know, I, I picked up the phone. I didn't know if she was going to answer. You know, I gave her a call and yeah. she picked up and she spent this much time with me and she sent me this, this, and this. Wow. And I look at that agent now, and she's got a team set up, and she's got. She's got a producing team set up and, and she modeled uh, what Veronica was doing, right? Yeah. So I, I see that happening over and over and over. I, right before I jumped on this, this call, um, I just picked up a referral from, I, I don't even know what state the, the you know, the EXP is, <laughs> right? But he's somewhere within our network. Yeah, it's so nice that we get to work with these guys every single day. It's amazing because I get it all the time too. I get the the work chats, I get the messages. Hey, Jeff, I got this. Can you do this? Absolutely. You, you know, it's and then I've ref we like for crying out loud, all the people, all of our sellers that have moved down south, have all worked with an EXP agent in Florida, and it's been such for our clients. It's been amazing because it's no longer like, all right, your house is sold. We'll call for you and try to find you an agent down in Florida. Now it's a matter of where you, on the listing appointment, I'll do it. Where in Florida are you looking? They tell me where I go on my workshop right there in front of them. And boom, I look for an agent. I said, well, I have 10 of the top producing realtors right here that can help assist you. And they're all within our group and they'll be able to assist you when you get down there. Um, I'm going to give them your contact info. So this way they can start that plan for you down there. Yeah. And it's like seamless. And then it, it's like one hand washes the other, you know, it's amazing.
I think I and I don't know if many of the other companies have this, but I think it's because we have that fantastic communication hub that we use where we have everybody communicating on one platform, even as we grow. Right. So the group has doubled in size since I joined. It went from 20,000 to 40,000. And, you know, the community has grown tremendously. Yeah. But, but it feels so small. It feels so tight because we're all on that singular platform where I could reach out to anybody in our organization. Anybody. Somebody from California the other day, like a broker, we were just going back and forth. And I'm like, hey, I, I, I was curious. I was like, how's the market over there? Is it slowing down? Is it, is it picking up? What's going on? And they're affected by some things in their you know, fires and stuff like that that's kind of helping them a little bit and also hurting them. And it was just cool to have that ability to collaborate because, you know, in real estate, things that happen out in California usually roll to New York. So it's like now I can be in touch with that person and know what to expect as things are coming and plan accordingly, you know? So it's pretty cool to see it all, you know, the collab that we have here. But so now that you've been at EXP, you, you, the team's here, we're growing. EXP, what is your mission? Like, what is your new drive? What is getting you up every day to go to work? Man, it, it, it really is just, you know, getting the, changing and helping the lives of the associates. I, I have these, texts and these messages from people that have transitioned with us, people that have transitioned after us. You know, I got a message from, from one of my associates that said, you know, Vincent, I've got more in my stock account than I've ever had in savings in my entire <laughs> life. And I want to thank you, you know, for, for convincing me to, to move over with you. Right. Yeah. And wow, man, that's that's a partner right there. It is. Right? That's yeah. somebody that I get to work with, and that's somebody who who I helped really change the the, the life of their entire family. And it's only been a year and a half. In a year, you know, in a year months. and a half, one year and a half. Think about that. Yeah. Think about that, right? So, in a year and a half, I've experienced it, right? Because I mean, I don't like to say I regret it, but I mean, I wish I would have made the move months before I had done, but look, it is what it is. But I mean, I made the move and like now I sit there and I look at that stock account right. and I go, wow. Do you remember what you joined at? Wow. I mean, it was like seven something to share. Now it's like 60, 70 something to share, right? So it's like, like it's it's like insane, but like at, there's no other, I don't, there, I don't think there's another company. I mean, maybe, but I, don't, I haven't seen it yet. I don't think there's another company that even has that leg to the table like not not the way that we do <laughs> right you know, you know why because there's companies that are traded publicly yeah remax is traded publicly but they don't give right? the agents you know they don't, we're, give we're, the, they don't give the stock to their agents they don't give it to their agents right so they don't have this vested interest that we have they don't they don't pay their agents as owners well exactly right? When you pay an agent as an owner, man, they give back like an owner. <laughs> exactly, yeah. right? Right. You know, what, you know what's funny is like I, I love it now too, is when people are like, they're like, oh, you own the company? And I actually can say, Yeah, I do. I'm you a do. shareholder. You do. I'm a shareholder. You own it, I own it, she owns it. We all own part of the company, right? We own pieces of it, right? We're not the 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 the, the inventor of it, right. but from a from a shareholder look of it. You do. You're you're an invested partner in the company. And that's the other thing I, I love is that as we expand and as we have other teams and other brokers and other top producing agents and other new agents that become top producers, you know, as they come into the picture, they're all contributing to our overall success, right? They're all contributing to the revenue of the company that we get to benefit off of. It's like a no brainer. So and it could be anywhere company. in the world, like the agents that they just picked up in Mexico. 300. Right? That was over two days. I don't and know they, what the number is now. Like, was, what is, like think about that. It's, it's really nice. It, re it really is nice. And to blow your mind, though, like, think about that. that's 300 individuals in a two day span of time decided to make a life changing move. Mm. Yeah, that's huge. 
I remember when we hmm. told our team about EXP and we brought it up, um, everyone, when they started to look at their numbers and they started to really like do some math and calculations, honestly, <laughs> like everyone got a raise. Jeez. Like they just walked in, got a race. <laughs> and especially for a team model, it really, there's so many benefits besides like just uh, the, the collaboration. Like there's so much more to it. Yeah. And, and I, I think it's really nice that you guys would do that for your associates. Right. And I, you know, I'd like to think that other team leaders out there, will keep an open mind and keep their team members as a priority and as part of your decision-making process, right? Because the, the team members are the ones that are contributing to the success of the team leader. So hopefully the decisions that the team leader make, makes is, is uh, you know, dependent on, you know, the, the opinions and the success of the associates as well. Yeah, right? I mean, for anybody that's out there that's a team leader and is, I think, is really about like the, the person on the personal level. Like, you owe it to your team to at least listen to what this company has to offer because you can it, change their lives. It right? could change not just their lives, but generations to come. Um, you, you know what I think uh, is cool and, and is a really good opportunity uh, that. We have agents out there that want to have a team like you do, all right? And you took a bit of time to kind of perfect this, right? <laughs> oh, man. My trials and errors. <laughs> trials and errors. Five times I've crumpled it up, thrown it out, and restarted. Right. Yeah. But now all of these guys get to benefit from all of your lessons. Yeah. Okay. Without going through the process of making those mistakes for themselves, yeah. they have a shortcut or an opportunity for a shortcut. Yeah, absolutely. That's what you we know? do. Like, they align with us. Once the alignment is there, it's simple as a phone call, a text right. message, a direct message. It is that simple. And it's the playbook is opened. So they, they, they don't have to it. join your team. No. No, if they don't have nobody has to join my team. That's the whole point. It's like you don't have to join the Jimenez team to learn from me. Like you don't have to do that. You have to align yourself with a company that's going to help you grow and just inspire you to do things like I never thought this interview right now would be happening and I would be the one hosting it with my wife, right? I never just I, I didn't float outside the box, right? I was I was just like, oh, sales, 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 help people, you know, do that, right? And then it was like, wait a second, I have so, I've experienced quite a bit in the short, I mean, mine's a blimp in what you've been in the business for, but but in that short amount of time, I'm, I've accumulated a lot of knowledge that I love sharing. I love helping and seeing and like in the creation of a another team and watching that team leader mold and, and not have to go and stumble and fall and and spend the money and waste the money and then and have to rebuild and understanding how to, to do that and being able to show somebody that way and then see them flourish faster than it took me. I mean, it took me like two years of every single day <laughs> breaking even, you know, like, cause you know, the old, the old model, it was not easy. It was not easy to be a profitable team leader there because every year you would, Bam, get sliced, dude. You finally get to the top. You'd be rocking, making it. And then guess what? Reset. You'd reset. And you drop significantly. And yeah, you had sponsors. You had all this other stuff that, yeah, kind of offset it, but you still were working for it. You still were working really hard for it. And you were, and it we was so hard and so, so long. Much back into the business. Back into the, my business bills did not reset and go to 70% of what they were. A year ago <laughs> or you know a month ago you know like so for me it was like holy smoke so if i could avoid that and just show somebody that yes. and teach them anything about that or show them the differences as to just tweaking something a little bit on a team or even just as an individual agent that's what we're here for the collaboration the, the give back right if you don't have it in your market for you to to to, to yeah. kind of show them the way and show them what works right yeah, absolutely. I mean, well, I've been talking. Cloud based too. Yeah. You can do it anywhere. You can like hop on a Zoom. <laughs> hop on a Zoom. 
one, two, three, I share the screen. I share everything, team agreements, the whole works, how to leave a brokerage, how to enter a brokerage, how to you know, put together a contract, how to get around the IS, you know, the agreements, how to the what you need to know is what we have, right? Like, so like whatever I've gone through, I'm willing to open up and share to anybody. Um, and I enjoy doing it. It's not a, like, everybody's like, Oh, I'm so sorry to bother you. Like, you never bothered me. I love the calls. Like I've taken so many calls just from our AXP group and they're like, Hey, look, I'm new. What do I have to do? What, how do I get started? Yeah. And I call, I talk to them and then I follow up with them. It's like, I'll yeah. actually, these are people I've never met before. I have no idea who they are. Half the time, I don't even know who's calling. I just, hi, Jeff speaking. And they tell me who they are. And I'm like, Oh, Hey, what's up? And we just, I've, actually gotten, I've, I've received phone calls. You know, hey, I called Jeff. Uh, you know, he spent like this much time with me, and and you know, he, he ran through this and this, and you know, he didn't have to, and it was really amazing. That, but that's what it's all about, right? It's like if you're always giving, you can always be receptive to receiving, right? So the, I, I'm a firm believer. I'm so is Michelle. Michelle's kind of made me this way more than I've ever been. <laughs> but like, I love to give back. I love to watch people grow. I love to see it. I love. That's why I'm like. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to do it like, you know, it's tough. And you yell at me all the time, but, but let's get real here, right? Like, so it, it's tough for me. It's, I remember how annoying those calls were. You know what I mean? Like, I remember that. Do you remember that? I remember that that call. Like, oh, come talk to me, right? So my attitude is, is look, if you're interested in EXP, you need to reach out to us, to, 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 to me. Reach out to me and I will tell you whatever you want to know. And I'm going to give it to you in the utmost realest form. And it's going to be through my experience mm. and nothing to hide. Right. I'm we're doing it. We're killing it. My team has grown. We set huge goals for 2021. There's big things coming. You know, the collaboration COVID's on the way out the door. We're getting ready to, to really be able to actually get into, cause that's the one thing I was looking forward to. I was like, man, EXP has some, awesome trips that you go on with the company <laughs> and it's like it's not just one time a year it's like four or five times a year i'm going can, right yeah i have a couple of those on my schedule already and um you know, you know? the mix is not gonna start. but April what is that that's a, that's gonna allow you to no they can't didn't they it was february them? they canceled it to april oh, okay so, so jeff might be able to make it yeah it'd be awesome right <laughs> so like i'm i'm sitting there going like i can't wait to even dive in with half the people that we haven't even aged like i mean we've talked we've seen each other in the world we've done that stuff but like to be face to face with um, shareholders and, stuff, different experience. And, and, and rubbing shoulders with the elite of the elite real estate agents and 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 really seeing that that collaboration that's going to come from that is huge, huge. Right. Can and we? It, it, it is really um still the beginning and we're looking for other early adapters exactly right we're, we're we're looking for people that you know we're not the visionaries it didn't come out like we didn't figure it out no. right but but we recognize we recognize the visionary exactly. right we, we we see the vision and we see what glenn put together and we know that it'll work because we're i mean we're, we're in it right now so we're, yes. working. Yeah. we're we're looking for other visionaries to really come along with us it, it is such an opportunity for everybody yeah exactly that's it and you know there you got like i say to everybody all the time what do you got to lose what do you have to lose to just have a conversation or look at or, or or investigate on your own time and you know just reach out let's but you, you know, know um i felt like for years i was trained not to look right um yeah they they would they they would teach you that it was bad to explore those other opportunities. Yeah. You're you're going against the brand, you're, you know, it felt dirty, right? Yeah. It feel dirty. You felt dirty like you were doing something wrong, right? If you were looking for something different than what you were already there, you felt like you were not doing what you were supposed to do. But in reality, you were doing exactly what you're supposed to do. As a business owner, in being aware being able to adapt and overcome, looking for better opportunity, knowing when to make the move, when not to make the move, understanding when you got to try to just have a leap of faith sometimes and learn how to fly on the way down, jump off that mountain and flap those wings until you get the wind, right? You know, so whatever it is, what it comes down to is action, right? But the, the key thing is that, you know, you're not going to have to figure it out by yourself. You get the benefit again off 
Jeff and Michelle's experience, off my experience, right? You have somebody to kind of guide you through the process. We're, it, it's not, you know, perfect right now because we're still evolving. We're still making changes. We're still improving. Um, but we don't have to figure it all out ourselves. No, come and join us. Help us figure it out, right? Because that's what we're all about, right? That's it. That's it. Vincent, I can't thank you enough for joining us today. Thank I you mean, so it's amazing. I can't wait to do this more and more with you. Yeah. Um, it's my absolute pleasure. And, and guys, congratulations on coming up on your one year anniversary. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. I, right? We've been blessed, man. We have been blessed. And thank you for the introduction to this. And yeah, understand and, and and being our trusted advisor and partner, <laughs> um, I am ecstatic being able to say that I have you in my corner cheering for me every day. Yeah, uh, thank you so much, and thank you again for coming on the Jeff and Michelle show. Thank you, and we'll talk soon. All right, take care, guys. <laughs>